few hundred years ago, we had a great Mahatma called Hathi Ram Baba. He, even today, if you go to Tirumala Tirupati, you can see his ashram. Hathi Ram Baba's ashram is there. And our Hathi Ram Baba, he was born somewhere in North India. He visited Tirumala. He just wanted to have Darshan of our Shinivasa Pirman. And he came there and he fell in love with Pirman. He had just one Darshan. He could not go back. So he decided to stay on Tirmala. He built an ashram there and he just resided there. And he had such love for Bhagavan that obviously Bhagavan reciprocated. So Bhagavan chose him to be the friend. Now, because Bhagavan, Nama Krishna, no, Srinivasa Karma is a very Mariyada Murti. See, in the beginning itself we told, you know, in the past few days we have been listening. We said how all the Ardvas would have different Bhavas with all the Divinesa Karmas. You know, they would have a Bhava of Vatsalya Bhava or Nayaka Nayaki Bhava. But when they all come to Parma, they have only Sharnagati. Nothing else. That's how he is. Though we say that, he is the Leela Priya. He always needs some friends. He always wants to play with somebody. <coughs> so, Hathi Ram Bhava was a friend of our Srinivasa Parma. And Srinivasa Parma used to play dice with him every day, it seems. And it so happened that one day, when they were playing dice, Chumana they won't play. There will be times when Baba would say, you know, let us have a bet. <laughs> and no, Baba, Hathi Ram Baba had nothing. But Perman had everything. No? <laughs> he had all the Bhushanas and all. And Baba, he blow or show, you know, how many other years he plays. How he might be Bhagavan, he might be Srivadhyaya, but he'll always lose to his devotees. <laughs> He's Ajita, but he'll always be Jita when it comes to his devotees. So one day he had a bet like that when they were playing dice and Baba lost. So the bet was about, you know, he had placed his uh, very costly necklace and he gave it to Hathi Rama. And then Baba said, it's okay, he was looking beautiful only on you, you have it. Then Baba said, no, no, it's okay, you have it. And Baba gave it to him. But Hathi Rama thought, we should know, tomorrow when he comes, we should give it back to him. What am I going to do with this? I know all. I have the greatest treasure of all. He is coming every night and playing with me. What will I do with this necklace? It is totally useless for me. So he thought, okay, Perman gave it, let me keep it now and I will give it tomorrow back to him. But by the time, see this Perman, he will do all this Leela. He will go to Janabai's house, he will give all his dress, you know, and he will do everything, he will go and then Janabai will be punished for it. <laughs> Suddenly he will become Archavatara. <laughs> then he comes and he plays in the night, he will be all Krishna. When he is in summer, he is dead. <laughs> Suddenly he will change. But here also, he had given this necklace, he went to him. Next day morning, that week, Prabhu, the necklace is missing. So everybody came in search and very easy to find her. Why would Hathi Ram Baba hide it or you know save it? See, like our uh, Kura Talwa, when you, know, you look at it, Raka Baba in, in Pandrapur, they saw you know, a, a diamond low stream of Rukmini Devi. She had put, the, put it on the way to test them. And uh, very casually, Baka, when she saw it, immediately she, she started hiding it. You know, she was burying it with sand. And Raka noticed it, he looked around and said, you know, what are you doing? She said, nothing, nothing. He said, no, you tell me. She said, no, there was a nose ring, gold and look, diamond in it. So I, I thought, why should it be there? I just buried it. Yeah, and I, I saw that. My question is, why are you burying stone with mud? No, it is only stone, no? Diamond is only stone, no? no why, why do you have to? How does that value? That's how they value it. So for Hathi Ram Baba, he would not think of, you know, we should serve, we should preserve this, we should keep it inside, we should be safeguarded. He had no such thought. It was just hanging around like that. They came very easily, they found him and they arrested him. The king arrested him. He was thrown in jail. And then, you know, he asked. Initially, of course, there was a bit of a inquiry. And they asked, you know, how, how did this come to He said, no, I didn't steal and all. Perman came to play with me yesterday night. He, he lost it to me, he gave it. They also laughed. How will they even believe this? <coughs> how will Perman come and play with you? Like, yeah, there's a limit to how much you can. <laughs> you know, Daman is like, So it is not, not at all believable. He said, I, what can I do? This is what happened. I can only tell you what happened. If you don't believe, it is up to you. So they threw him in jail, he was in the jail. And uh, uh, the king said, if it is Perman, if you are such a great sadhu, if you are a Mahatma, I don't know what got into his head. He filled that room of jail with sugar cane. And he said, if you have really some divinity with you, you know, some grace like that, you have to eat this, these sugar canes, the entire room full of sugar cane, before dawn. Before next morning, I'll come and I'll see and 
nothing should be there. Hathira Baba was not used to eating uh, sugar cane and all. He didn't even understand why he was doing this. You know, he didn't bother about it. He was very, he was very, Mahatmas are, you know, Jain Lavana, Koda Asha, everything is same for them. So it doesn't make a difference. So he was happy, he just slept off. He didn't bother about the sugar cane and all. In his dream, he, he saw one elephant come and eat everything. It was in his dream. When he woke up, nothing was there. No sugar cane was there. So he knew that Perma had come like that and he left. But the king came, nothing. Imagine the shock the king would have had. Huh? He thought, you know, the Bhata would only have the Sadhu Dari. How did he eat one room full of sugar cane? How did this even happen? And uh, they asked, how did he? And Dhatra Baba said, I didn't do anything. I, I, my elephant came and he ate everything. <laughs> And uh, the king asked the guards, did you see? He said, how can an elephant come himself? <laughs> we, we have not built a cell in such a way that elephant can get in. Maharaja, how are you even asking this? Only then they realized, Perman came in the form of an elephant and he ate everything to save his devotee. He does that, isn't it? So, when he says, Tandema Chakravarti was Bhagavan's friend, it is not like, you know, a kada. It is not a story, it is true. And even today, Bhagavan must be having so many such friends with whom he would be playing, just because we are not one of them, <laughs> you know, we can't say chichi in a padam go. That's not right, is it not? Even today, he, he, he was not talking just with Tondema Chakravarti. Bhagavan reveals his presence to so many Mahatmas even now. 